Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter two, lesson 10. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So for these ones, we're gonna wind up using our little friend robot. So stop, take a picture, you don't need this stuff, but you will need this little guy here. Um, and you'll see one gallon is touching the four quarts. So there's four quarts in one gallon in one quart. There's two pints touching it. So that means two pints in a quart. Only two cups are touching one pint. These other cups are only touching that other pint. They're not touching this one. So there's two cups in a pint. Okay. We are going to go down to fluid ounces. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. I'm going to leave this guy up here so that we have them. Um, let me hold it one more time. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and so we're going to start with what it tells us which is 192 ounces, okay? You can put fluid ounces, it's just a waste of ink for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put ounces. And now we're gonna have to make a pit stop. You see on here, in order to go from pints to ounces, we have to make a stop at cups, okay? So in, there's eight ounces in one cup. Now, in one cup, oh sorry, there's two cups in one pint. Sorry about that. Okay, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom and then divide, okay? So 192 times one times one is still gonna be 192, okay? Eight times two, is 16 okay now we have canceled out ounces we have canceled out cups we are now left with pints which is exactly where we want to be okay but first i have to do 192 and divide that by 16. okay 16 is not going to go into one but it'll go into 19 once one times 16 is 16 subtract get three three is smaller than 16 so i'm going to bring down my two and 16 times two is 32 Zero left over. So it's going to be 12 pints. Okay. We're going to do more. Don't worry. Don't panic yet. Okay. So this is one of the ones that you have to divide. Some of these going from pints to cups, it's going from the larger unit to the smaller one. So all we're going to do on that one is to multiply. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do that one. Okay. So we're going to start with what it tells us. That's 15 pints. Now in one pint, there are two cups, okay? That's as far as we had to go on that one, okay? So now, we're gonna multiply straight across the top and 15 times two is 30. We're gonna cross cancel out pints. We're left with cups, which is what we want. Done, okay? Okay, so now we're going ounces to cups, so we're going from the smaller unit to the bigger, which means we're gonna to have to divide, okay? So, okay, so we're gonna start with what we know, what the problem tells us, 240 ounces, okay? I know that in order to cancel out ounces, I have to have a top and a bottom, and I wanna wind up in cups, okay? So in one cup, there's eight ounces, okay? So now ounces cancels out, I'm left in cups, that's exactly what I want, okay? And when I multiply straight across the top, I get 240 divided by eight, okay? Well, you absolutely can do out the math this way if you want to. I'm gonna go, I know that eight goes into 24, three times, and then I have that zero to add on. Done. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna let you guys do the rest of them um, until number nine, and we're gonna go down and do number 10. Okay. So 17 quarts are four gallons. Well, it's easier to go from the bigger unit to the smaller one, because then you have to multiply, not divide. So let's go to, from four gallons, okay? So four gallons, okay? This is 
what you're going to need here, okay? So we're going from gallons to quarts, okay? So in four gallons, where one gallon has four quarts, okay? We're going to cross cancel gallons. We're left with quarts. That's what we want. And four times four is 16. So 16 quarts, okay? So 17 quarts or 16 quarts, well, 17 is bigger, okay? So again, pints is bigger than ounces, go with pints, okay? We're going to eight pints. Okay, we're gonna have to make a pit stop at cups, okay? So in one pint, there's two cups, okay? You'll, again, we're going from pints to ounces, we have to stop at cups, okay? Now in one cup, there's eight ounces, okay? All right, so cross cancel pints, that's good. Cross cancel cups, that's good. We're left with ounces, that's what we want. Okay, we need to put it in ounces. And eight times two is 16 times eight. Eight times six is 48, carry the four. Eight times one is eight plus four, 12, 128. Okay, so 96 or 128, 128. Okay, make sure you guys are showing your work, all right? All right, guys, I'm gonna let you finish through 15. We're gonna go down and do 16, okay? Just remember to start with the bigger unit and multiply down to get the smaller one, okay? And use these, okay? Vicki made a recipe for 144 fluid ounces of scented candle wax. How many one cup candle molds can she fill with the recipe? Okay, so we're gonna start with what we know, which is what they told us, 144 ounces. Where one cup, which is what it's asking us, is eight ounces, okay? So we're gonna cancel out ounces. We're left with cups, that's what we want. And so when we multiply straight across, we would get 144 over eight, which just means divide. Okay. Eight's not gonna go into one, but it'll go into 14, one. We get six left over. Six is smaller than eight, so I'm gonna bring down my four. And eight goes into 64 eight times, which is 64. We have zero left over. So 18. Candles, candle molds, however you want to put it, okay? Okay, make sure that you guys are showing your work. Okay, a recipe calls for 32 fluid ounces of heavy cream. How many one pint containers of heavy cream are needed to make the recipe? So, we start with what we know, 32 fluid ounces. Okay, we know we are going to have to, on the way to pints, from ounces, we have to stop at cups, okay? So, there are eight ounces in one cup, and there are two cups in one pint, okay? So now, I have 32 on the top, and eight times two is 16, okay? All I did was multiply straight across on the top and the bottom, okay? 32 over 16. Well, 16 times two is 32. Two containers. Okay? Or two pints, two whatever, okay? All right. Remember, we cross canceled ounces, we cross canceled cups, we were left with pints. We did good. Okay, so we're going to go into the back. Okay, you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down and do this power review. Okay, so a mountain climber climbed 15,840 feet on her way to the summit mountain. How many miles did she climb? Okay, so 
15, 8, 40 feet. And in one mile, there are 5,280 feet. So if I were to multiply straight across, I would just get the 15,840 and 5,280. Okay, so let's do some math. You know what, instead of doing the division, I'm gonna go ahead and just multiply this. Okay, we know that times one is just gonna be 5,280, because that's not gonna be it. Okay, so times two. Then I'm gonna do a 5,280 times three. And just for good measure, 5,280 times four. Okay, so two, 16, five, 10, that's not gonna cut it. Three times zero is zero. Three times eight is 24, carry our two. Three times two is six, plus two is eight. Three times five, 15, oh, there we go. So three miles. Okay, make sure you show your work, okay? Okay. All right. Go ahead. And says Jamal is making blueberry muffins. He has six and three quarter cups of batter, but he needs a total of 12 cups. How much more batter does Jamal need? Okay. So we have 12, and in order to find the difference, we need to take away six and three quarters. Okay. You will notice that 12 does not have a fraction to be able to take away three quarters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow one, making that 11. And then the one that I borrow, I'm going to make a four over four because that's my denominator. So in order to be able to subtract it, I have to have a common denominator. Okay, so all I did was borrow one and make that one into a fraction. Okay, so now 11 minus six is five, four minus three is one, and I keep my denominator. So five and one quarter cups. Okay. At a building site, there are 16 pallets with sacks of cement. The total weight of the pallets of cement is 400, or sorry, 4,856 pounds. Each pallet with cement weighs the same amount. How much does a pallet weigh? Okay, ready? Let's do it. So 4,856, and we are going to divide that by 16. Okay. 16 is not going to go into 4. It will go in to 48 three times, which is 48. We subtract, we get 0. Okay. 0 is definitely smaller than 16, so I'm going to bring down my 5. Well, bringing down that five, 16 is still not going to go into five, but instead of putting a placeholder X, I need to put a zero. Okay. Now I can bring down my six. Okay. So 16 is going to go into 56. Not evenly. Okay. So I would go four times because four times 16 is 48. Hmm. Sorry, three times 16 was 48, not four. Sorry guys, my bad. So three times 16 is 48. Subtract and I'm gonna get six, can't take away eight, so I'm gonna borrow one, making it 16, 16. Minus eight is eight. So eight would be my numerator, 16 would be my denominator, and eight over 16 is equal to one half. So 303 and one half pounds. Okay. Okay. 
All right, a publisher ships 15 boxes of books to the bookstore. Each box contains 32 books. How many books did the publisher ship to the bookstore? Okay, 32 times 15. Ready? Five times two is 10, carry the one. Five times three is 15, plus one is 16. Six, tuck, toe, and then one times 32. Add them up. Zero, eight, four, 480 books. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 10.2. Come on back for 10.3. See you soon.